Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla still leads battery EV market by a mile. Tesla subscription service autonomy, now available on Android devices. Texas poll shows, majority of young voters own or want to own EVs. And, Elon Musk believes, Tesla's current 4680 structural pack is still far from optimized. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla is still the leading automaker in the battery electric vehicle market. General Motors and Volkswagen have set their eyes on taking Tesla's crown, but the Elon Musk-led company isn't letting up, so it won't be easy. Tesla delivered approximately 310,048 vehicles in the first quarter and 254,695 in Q2 2022. Despite a rough second quarter, Tesla sold 564,743 cars for the first half of 2022. According to Barron's, BYD was the closest top seller to Tesla, selling 323,519 vehicles in the first six months of this year. In third place is SAIC, which is a joint venture with General Motors, selling 154,623 cars in the first two quarters of 2022. Europe's top-selling BEV maker Volkswagen came in fourth place, with 151,545 vehicles sold. Tesla sold 386,050 vehicles in the first half of 2021 and sold a grand total of 936,172 battery electric vehicles all of last year. So the EV automaker still seems on track to achieving its 50% or above growth rate for 2022. Tesla experienced some supply chain challenges in the second quarter, and Giga Shanghai was hit by lockdowns in China, accounting for the slight drop in delivery numbers compared to Q1 2022. Tesla China seems to be recovering and preparing to return with a vengeance. Tesla reported its highest vehicle production month in June, even though Giga Shanghai hasn't fully recovered and the new Giga factories in Texas and Berlin haven't fully ramped yet. Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin will undergo upgrades this month to increase manufacturing output, likely boosting Tesla's delivery numbers. Some of Tesla's delivery estimates are already well into next year. Increasing production capacity will probably help the company chip away at those deliveries and get vehicles to their owners faster. Moving to the next update, Tesla subscription service autonomy, now available on Android devices. Autonomy, an electric vehicle subscription company that offers customers a quick, affordable, and easy method to drive a Tesla Model 3, is now available in the Google Play Store. The Android app from Autonomy will work on devices running Android 10 and newer. The service was formerly exclusive to iOS users. Scott Painter, founder and CEO of Autonomy, wants to give consumers the capability to drive a Tesla while still having financial freedom and being debt-free in the long run. There's a clear product market fit and enthusiasm for our service and the option to subscribe to a Tesla Model 3 by using Autonomy. With growing interest and demand from Android users, we expedited our Android app launch and it is now available on the Google Play Store. This opens the door for more consumers to get behind the wheel of a Tesla with flexibility and freedom from long-term debt, Painter said. Georg Bauer, co-founder and president of Autonomy, believes this is the digital shopping experience customers have been asking for. Android users can now experience the magic that is Autonomy. Instead of spending hours at a car dealership, qualified Android users can download an app and in as little as 10 minutes, begin their subscription to a Tesla Model 3. This is the digital experience consumers have been demanding in their car shopping experience, Bauer said. Customers can customize their Model 3 by using a payment dial. The subscription cost can start as low as $490 per month, with an initial start price of $4,900, or as high as $1,000 per month, with an initial start fee of $1,000. A $500 refundable security deposit and taxes are expected when the subscription is enabled. A $100 refundable deposit is required to reserve a car through the Autonomy app. 
The start charge and monthly payment for autonomy covers all typical ownership expenses, such as yearly licensing and registration fees, routine maintenance, roadside assistance, and normal tire wear and tear, all of which are typically extra costs with a traditional lease or loan. Moving to the next update, Texas poll shows majority of young voters own or want to own EVs. Recent polling conducted by Texas 2036 shows that over half of voters under the age of 45 have bought an EV or are considering buying one. In a poll released by Texas 2036, a non-profit voter polling agency in the state focused on gauging the interests of voters on a wide variety of topics, over half of younger voters already own or are considering buying electric cars. The poll found that those who were between the age of 35 to 44 were most likely to acquire EVs, followed by 18 to 34-year-olds, then 45 to 55-year-olds, and finally voters over age 55. The poll also examined why voters were or were not interested in buying electric vehicles. Surprisingly, the top reason cited as why voters wanted to buy electric vehicles was reducing auto emissions that contribute to climate change at 41 percent, followed by the rising cost of gas at 28 percent, and new technologies or other features in EV models at 19 percent. Voters who were not interested in buying an electric vehicle believed that electric vehicles were too expensive, while roughly a quarter preferred gas or diesel vehicles, and a select few cited range anxiety as their top concern. The reasons supplied by voters who were not interested in buying EVs should indicate that EV acceptance will likely be on the rise in the state over the coming years. Primarily, while price concerns are certainly valid, automakers now have more reason than ever to make their products more price competitive, much like the Chevy Bolt. And while many stated that they simply prefer gas or diesel vehicles, only 14 percent of people cited range anxiety. This alone suggests that EVs may have made it over a major hurdle for many potential buyers. The analysts at Texas 2036 cite a couple of other reasons why EV acceptance should be expected to grow over the coming years. First off, the analyst specifically pointed out that the F-150 Lightning is winning over wide swaths of the previously EV-opposed. Secondly, the planned growth of Texas's EV charging infrastructure should bring many consumers more peace of mind while driving electric cars. Lastly, the opening of Giga Texas has sparked interest in EVs within the state. Such positive signs from a state that has traditionally been an oil giant show that EVs are likely growing in acceptance in the U.S. Hopefully, automakers can work to address top concerns, especially price, as many seem willing yet unable to buy vehicles due to their cost. Moving to the last update, Elon Musk believes Tesla's current 4680 structural pack is still far from optimized. A preliminary teardown of the Texas-made Model Y's structural battery pack has begun at automotive teardown company Monroe & Associates. And while the Monroe team was already highly impressed with the next-generation innovation from Tesla, CEO Elon Musk has clarified that the component still has a long way to go. During their initial teardown, Monroe's team saw a number of interesting features from the Texas-made Model Y's 4680 pack. The component, which already includes seats, the center console, and carpets, weighs just about 1,200 pounds. This is extremely light, considering that some EVs have battery packs that are twice as heavy on their own. It was also evident that the 4680 structural battery pack was made for efficiency. Even the connections of the structural pack to the Model Y's front and rear megacasts are very simple, making the assembly of the all-electric crossover straightforward. As noted by Monroe's team, Tesla's innovations with the Texas-made Model Y are truly unique and yet to be matched. But in a comment on Twitter, Tesla CEO Elon Musk noted that while a structural pack is definitely the way to go, the component itself as it stands today is still very much open for improvements. Structural pack is the right overall architecture from a physics standpoint, but it is still far from optimized, Musk wrote on Twitter. Musk's comments are in character for the CEO 
who is known to push for improvements in Tesla's vehicles, even if they are already among the best all-electric cars in the market today. Musk did not provide any hints about the optimizations that are still yet to be rolled out to the Texas-made Model Y's 4680 structural pack. However, it should be noted that the structural packs today are the first production version of Tesla's new battery technology. And Tesla, if its reputation is anything to go by, is a company that always improves. Monroe and Associates founder Sandy Monroe has noted in the past that Tesla's engineering teams move at the speed of thought. This is arguably one of the reasons why Tesla has stood as one of the most attractive places of employment for engineering graduates in the United States for several years running now. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.